Are your customers performing a corner check when they're installing CV axles, loaded struts, and wheel hub assemblies? If not, that replacement part that they just bought from you could be doomed to fail in the same way it failed the first time. Introducing a new part into an imperfect system is a recipe for a customer comeback. For example, a damaged sway bar link can come in contact with the CV boot, causing the boot to be ripped and torn and possibly to fail prematurely. Excessive play in a wheel bearing can cause damage to the CV joint. When a strut assembly shows signs of wear and tear or fails completely, it can lead to additional damage to other suspension components. Over 50,000 miles, the dampening capabilities of a strut will degrade to the point where it can impact ride and handling. But unlike, say, a bad wheel bearing, the driver might not notice because it happens so gradually. So it's really important to inspect that strut assembly and other wheel end components for signs of wear. While they're under the vehicle performing that corner check, your customer also might want to take a look at other nearby parts, such as the exhaust system. In particular, they should pay attention to the heat shields and the hangers. Excessive heat near a CV joint boot can cause it to fail prematurely. Here's the bottom line. Worn undercar components can have an effect on other related components, causing them to wear prematurely. When it comes to replacing a failing CV axle, loaded strut, or wheel hub assembly, don't stop at the first problem. Encourage your DIY and professional customers to inspect the entire system to ensure that there aren't any other issues that could sabotage that new part that you just sold them. I'm Josh Cable. Thanks for watching.